Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to be covering the subject of soft proofing. Uh, pr printing can be a little formidable little task for people to get their head around. Uh, and it's, it's incredibly complicated. Uh, and it doesn't need to be, but unfortunately it is. Uh, trying to match your monitor to a particular printer to a particular ink, to a particular piece of paper, okay, all affect how that final image is going to look when you print it, okay? And this doesn't matter whether you're using your own home printer or whether you're sending it out to a service like uh, Bay Photo to have it printed there, okay? The rules all apply, and that is we need to do as much color matching and prepping that we can do so that we're pretty close to guaranteed to getting the image that we want, okay? Like we edited. So we look at this photo here and we can see, okay, I finished editing it, it's beautiful, it's exactly the way I want, the contrast is perfect. Uh, I'm happy with the image, I'm ready to print. Now, the first thing you need to do is, is my monitor calibrated, okay? If it's not, you need to go out and buy a color calibration puck. Numerous manufacturers make it. Color Monkey, I Write Write Display, uh, Spider is another famous one. Uh, they're all great. It doesn't matter which one you buy. Buy whatever's within your budget. They range anywhere from you know sixty nine dollars all the way up to three hundred dollars. Okay, you don't need anything but the basic. Uh, color management to get your colors right on your monitor. Okay, so that's step one. Okay, so once you've done that and you've calibrated your monitor, it's now to work in Lightroom and get this printer ready for print because we have a particular paper, a printer, and everything that we want to use. So we're going to go to soft proofing right down here and below. Now, if you don't see this, all right, if you don't see this toolbar, just hit T, okay? T will turn on the toolbar automatically for you. So just again, T. And if you still don't see soft proofing, just come all the way over to the right and then select soft proofing there. So it'll appear on the menu. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Now you need to be in the develop module to do any of this, of course. All right, whoa, what just happened? Look at this. My whole picture changed. What the heck? This looks terrible. This is what I want. Soft proofing now is doing it. Look, it's already set to my paper and my printer. It says, hey, if you're gonna use this printer and this particular paper, this is what it's going to look like when you print it. And I'm going, whoa, this is not what I want. I want it to be the way I edited it. Okay, now this is the part that frustrates people the most. They don't know this, okay? And so we waste a lot of ink, we waste a lot of paper or money or all the above. All right, so here we go. ICC profiles, these are, okay? These are what came with my printer, okay? I downloaded them from Canon and installed them on my computer and I have a long list of, uh, of ICC profiles. Now, if you don't see an ICC profile that you want to use, okay, let's say you use Bay Photo, for example. All right, so let me uh, come up here and, uh, okay, Bay Photo, one of the most popular and one, one I recommend print houses, okay? They do fantastic work, top quality. And you go to their site and just go do a search okay, for ICC profiles, all right? And then everyone will have an ICC profile page. And then you can download the ICC profiles for this print house, and then you can do soft proofing so that it matches uh, Bay Photos Labs, okay? So self easy, but you've gotta turn around and do it. If you have third party paper, like say you use uh, some exotic paper that you found and you like, uh, you can also download 
the ICC profiles from paper manufacturers, okay? Almost everyone is free, okay? All right, so today I'm just gonna show you how I do it with a Canon here. I'm selected on a, a Pro 100 color printer and I'm on a fine art museum quality. Uh, and you can see what it's done to my photo, okay? It's really done a number on it. There's my original edited photo. And boy, am I flat and drabbed and, and lost contrast and everything. And that's not what I want. So with soft proofing, okay, it enables us to edit the photo, all right, so that we can get the photo the way we want on the paper to come out. So the first step is we select our paper and our target, and then we have uh, per per perpetual and relative, okay? The short story it is, without going over anything, keep it on perpetual, okay? Relative is just going to turn your things into flat messes, all right? All right, so if I, if I click on flat, you see how it even flattens it even more, okay? So keep it on perpetual. All right, so you have your target, you have your thing, and now, remember I told you it matters what paper you use, it matters what uh, printer you use, what inks and so forth. It does so much. So if I turn around and I look up here on the histogram, I have two rectangles. The first one on the left is the monitor gamut. And you see when I hover over it, Look at the blues that come into the in the water here. They're saying, hey, in those particular areas, your monitor doesn't even support those colors. Okay? A lot of people get really frustrated when they buy a cheap monitor and they go, oh man, what do you mean my monitor doesn't support the colors? All right? The right one, look at that, all the red. All right? Now this is showing the gamut warnings for my paper. It's saying anything in red, I can't do it. I can't, I can't duplicate that gamut with this paper, okay? So let me change the paper. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select a, a pro crystal, see how that is, and I'm gonna go over the gamut, and you see, there's no warnings. All right, I come over to the, the fine art and I got all kinds of warnings. Now, this is understandable because fine art matte paper, uh, everything is going to be flatter. It's not going to support the color range of a gloss paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we understand this. Now all we need to do is make a virtual copy of this photo. All right. And we did there, okay. So now we can turn around and we can edit this photo, correcting what we need to do. Now, this is personal choice how you like to edit. Some people like to just take the photo here in soft proofing and edit it accordingly, and then they're done. Other people like to turn around and say, well, I like to work side by side and see the two images okay and then keep matching them back and forth as they edit uh, which is a way you're comfortable with is great okay all right so with soft proofing on i can edit this photo and look at what's wrong and then make adjustments because i'm on a virtual copy now okay the original won't be touched, all right? So now I'm on a printing virtual copy. So I can adjust the colors, maybe down a little bit. Uh, I definitely gotta bring contrast back in because uh, I've lost so much contrast. Okay, that's looking better. Uh, my whites seem a little bit bright. So maybe a, a touch down. Okay, uh, my shadows, looking at my dark areas, do I want to 
Do I want to bring in the shadows uh, more? And my whites, do I still want to bring them down? Okay. And I've lost a little bit of sharpness, so maybe I'm going to give a little bit of clarity back. Okay. And a little clarity. And then I can continue on down the line. So, again, contrast. You can bring it up. Okay. And now you can turn around and look at the before and afters and compare them from the original uh, to the proof. Okay. There's the, the before, which is the original. And then there's the, the, the proofing that I'm working on. Okay, and then once you're happy, you're on the virtual copy, you can print it out then on that paper. Okay, so I know this is a little frustrating. It's a lot of work to work with it, but it's worth it in the end. Okay, so that's basically soft proofing. All right, so again, just a reminder, got to calibrate your monitor. Okay, don't even attempt to do soft proofing because your prints will never match your monitor. You have to calibrate your monitor first. Once you've done that, then you go in and do a soft proofing and you edit your photo for the paper and printer that it's targeted. And then this will give you a good idea of what your print's going to come out like. Now, just to show you here, I have an edit that I did, right? I could turn around and put it on gloss paper and look at the difference that gloss. So maybe I want to use gloss paper for this image. All right. I can come in and, you know, change it. Okay, and I go, wow, this, this paper does a nice job here. Maybe I want to use this picture uh, with this paper. All right, again, that's all personal taste. And uh, so hopefully you found this useful or a little less frustrating. Uh, I know printing can be incredibly uh, frustrating, but the soft proofing feature uh, can save you some money, save you some time and frustration. So, till next week, you guys take care.